So we've looked at some of the mechanics of app building, right? But you also need to understand kind of what an app is beneath the hood, okay? Traditionally, software, you know, it's been thought of as kind of like a recipe. You do step one, do step two, do step three, right? And this was, this is a pretty good, you know, kind of way to think if you're just doing computing, like formulas and that sort of thing. You know, but with modern software and certainly with mobile apps, right, you've got this user interface and you've got users using the app, okay? And you really got to think of an app more as the user is doing some event like clicking on a button, right? Or in, a, in the app we just looked at, the Kalo Per app, kind of dragging on the, on the screen, okay? And then the system kind of responds to each event, okay? So in the in the Hello Per app, you know we've got an event which was canvas .dragged, okay, the user dragging, and the response was in fact two operations: play a sound and vibrate. So that was our response, okay. And we kind of call this whole thing um, an event handler, okay. You know it's got some event like click a button or drag the mouse or drag your finger. Um, and it's got some response, which is some operations that, that do something on the phone. In this case, play sound and, and vibrate the phone. Okay? So really, kind of what you have, you know, your app is kind of, you know, a series of event handlers. Hello Per is pretty simple. There's just one event handler, handler for the whole app. But most apps, you're going to have some event occurs, do A, do B, do C, some other event occurs, and do some other sequence of operations, right? And events are certainly user interface events, but you might also think of like a text coming in from you know some phone. So you've got some other phones that are texting this app and this app might respond to that text, right? Or you can think of the GPS satellites up in the sky. When a reading comes in, the app might respond to that reading, okay? But essentially what you've got is a set of event handlers and your app is kind of an event response machine.